China's homegrown passenger plane completed its first commercial flight on Sunday, marking a milestone in the country's effort to become more self-reliant. The narrow-body jet is 15 years in the making. The product of state-backed company Comax aimed to compete with Airbus and Boeing. President Xi Jinping hailed the project as a triumph of Chinese innovation. Some of the plane's first passengers were equally enthused. I'm feeling very emotional. Actually, when I heard about the C919's maiden flight, I spent the whole week paying attention to everything about this development. I was paying attention to when tickets go on sale, then I tried to buy tickets from the moment they were released. The plane completed a two-hour flight from Shanghai to Beijing with China Eastern Airlines, with a return scheduled later in the day Sunday and longer flights on the horizon. A Comac official recently said the company has won over 1,200 plane orders from at least 32 customers so far, the majority of which are reportedly based in China. Chinese media reported the plane maker expects annual production to reach 150 jets within five years. Although assembled in China, the plane relies heavily on components such as engines and avionics from Western firms. Neither European nor U.S. regulators have certified the aircraft yet. Until they do, key international markets will remain closed to the C919. Given the popularity of Comac's previous planes with Indonesian airlines, experts estimate the C919's international future lies mainly in the developing world. and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting. and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one, the Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting.